So we're here with Paul. Uh, how old are you, brother? 55. 55. Where are you from? South Philly. South Philly. And um, growing up, where you grew up in a two-parent home, one-parent home? Two-parent home. My dad died when I was 14. Okay. How did he pass? Yeah, lupus. Lupus. How how was that uh, dealing with that as a you know that's young? Well, I was close to my dad. Like I went to work with him when I was off school, and uh, that was rough for me. So after my dad died, I just I didn't care about nothing. Do you have any other siblings? I got two sisters and seven brothers. Okay, you guys all share the same father? Yeah. Yep. How? Where do you fall on the line? Age baby. Wise? You're the baby. I'm the baby. Oh, uh, so. You all right, so that's a whole different thing when you yeah. being the baby of the family, yeah. you know. Okay. Yeah. And my mom took care of us, you know what I mean? My yeah. mom never went out. And once my dad, she never remarried or nothing. So, okay, you know, so it was she, from Italy, my mom and dad, so. That's cool. Yeah. Um, if your mom would have decided to have to remarry or have an abortion, would you have felt some type of way? No, I mean, she, you know, if, if she would have did it right away, it would have been something different, but say if she would have waited yeah, like 10 years, all that would, stuff. you know, okay. as long um, as they would have treated her good, I won't care. Yeah. So how, what type of effect did that have on you after he passed, behavior wise? It had a lot because my first case I caught, I blew a half a city block up. Uh, okay. How, how old were you when that happened? I was, I just turned 18. Okay. And can you uh, explain to me what happened? I can do it in a little bit of detail, but I can't really get too deep into it. Yeah, I, mean, I got uh, paid for that. it. Take it that way. I got paid for it. So okay. That's it. Yep. And uh, it who's that. who's what? You targeted a certain block. Yeah, it was a building that we was trying to get. They wanted to knock it. They wanted it right. out of the way because. Yep. And they wanted to buy the building, so take it that way. Okay. How the fuck did you blow up the building? <laughs> first of all. I, think I can't get relocked up for it, so. Yeah. I mean, I already did 20 years for it, so. Yeah. Then, so, uh, I did it with the gas lines they had. Uh, yeah. So, you fucked the whole fuck up. Yeah, it was. So, on easy. some MacGyver shit. It was, he was it messing was around with the fuck. I'm sorry. I know how to do all that from my dad. Like I said. Okay. If you go back. My, I, I was going to say, that's not somebody dumb that knows no, how to no, do no. some shit like that. Yeah. Because I can't do that. No, well. For, I, I learned that from my dad because my dad like he was yeah. he owned the machine he owned the shop down at Second and Lehigh my dad okay. the mechanic shop, so <laughs> I learned from that. Gotcha. You know what I mean? With him fucking with the gas lines and all that. That's how I learned. That. Was anybody hurt? No, no, okay, no. I wasn't good. trying to hurt. We wasn't trying yeah, to hurt nobody. Just trying to, just trying to get the send building. Send the message. That's it. Um, where were you at when the building blew? I was in Jersey. Okay, so you were nowhere around. I was nowhere around, but I had somebody to do it. Did it with me. Yeah. Uh, and I told him, I said, listen, burn all your stuff, your sneakers. Well, he didn't do it. And they got him from a sneaker print. Somebody okay. seen him, and that's how he that's how we got caught. And he turned state evidence so, on. How much time did you do? I got a 10 to 20, I wind up doing the whole 20. The whole 20? Right. And I'm still on, oh, on yeah, paper for that. that off camera. You're still on paper from still on paper from the 80s, yeah. Alright, um, how often do you have to see your PO? Every two months. Okay. Um, explain to me, so, a little while ago, uh, you know, a couple hours ago, probably an hour or two ago, I seen you. Um, oh, yeah. We always speak off always. camera. This is the first time we speak on camera. Yes. But we always bust it up off camera. Um, we went, grabbed you something to eat, and uh, you just got out the I hospital. I just got out right? the hospital, yeah. Uh, the other night, I fell down the steps, all right? Uh -huh. So the other night, I kept, on, I kept on falling. I wasn't high, I wasn't doing nothing. I just kept on falling. I got it, I got it. And uh, I'll go, I had an a, a infection in my spine. I almost died two years ago. I was crippled. I had to learn how to walk again. Uh, and that really, that set it off now. They want to operate on my spine. My spine is black. They got to scrape it. They get it back. So, I'm yeah. going to let them do that. You know what I mean? It's a dangerous operation, but I still want to let them do it. So okay. I have to deal with the pain. That's all. So, how long has it been since you've been dealing with uh, with those issues? Uh, for three years, but I always had back issues. I've been on medication for 30 years for my back. Even prior to? Even prior, yeah. You know, 
I have hurry, you know, hurry edition and all that. All right. No. Um, how how are things going in your life right now? We're, well, we're I picked I picked up again. I okay. was clean for a while. Two months ago, I picked up. I was depressed. Yep. I got really depressed. It was my birthday. You know, my mom. I'm looking at my mom's pictures, the ashes, and I felt myself getting into a deep depression. So I'm like. Fuck it, let me go use, maybe I'll kill myself. But it didn't work that way. Of course. It never does. So. But now I see, you know, I don't want my kids, I don't want my kids, I don't want nobody saying, you know, telling my kids your dad's a coward, he killed himself. Yeah. So. Cause that, that's a lot of times, and with addiction, when we're fucked up, that's prevalent right there. Like suicide, you know, is prevalent all the time because of dealing I'm, with I was shit. like, I don't want my, you know, yeah, nobody I, wants to. I don't want. I never been high around my kids. Okay. And they, I, I see them all the time. My son's a. He's a supervisor for his job. Yeah. And I see him a lot. Okay. And he always drives by, and I see him. We stop. You know, I, I've been close. You know, I'm close to my kids, but I have a close knit family. Okay, good. But uh, I have to. I want to go away. That's that's my goal. Go away. So, okay. You know what I mean? I have to get clean. But I got some things in the, in the work. Yeah. It's a lot of money, so um, keep it at that. How how much are you using right now? It's like four bags a day, that's all. Okay. Sniffing or shooting? Shoot. Shoot. Okay. Um just the fentanyl or anything else? Just fentanyl, that's all. I don't okay. smoke crack or you know what I mean. And how long were you sober for? Uh nine months I think. Okay. Around, yeah, nine, ten months, something like that. I'm not sure. That's a decent amount of time to put yeah. together. But I threw it away, you know, I threw it away, take it that way. Yeah, but then... But I can get it back. A hundred, that's what I was just going to tell you. I can get it we back, throw shit away when it comes to our recovery, and we gamble every time we do it. And I'm a gambler. we can always get it back. And I'm a gambler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I you knew that. <laughs> yeah. Um, so. We can always get that back. Yeah, I'll get it back. I know what I got to do. I mean, if I don't get clean, the thing I got in mind, I talked to you about, yeah. I got a patent, yeah. patent, I'm waiting for something to get patty. Yeah. And it's probably going to take off once I do it. Yeah. Once, you know, it might take a year or two. But it's a lot of money I'll, you know, I'll be making, so. Yeah. Hopefully so. I wish you the best. Um, yep. You know, we always, every time I'm down here, uh, we pretty much bust it up and, and speak. So, uh, you know, we'll continue to speak. Yeah, oh, yeah, I, definitely. definitely. You're, hope, you're a good um, person, Frank. You know, thank you, brother. Yeah. And I hope you, you do... Uh, Whatever it is that you need to do to get back to where you want to be. Yeah, I know. I know what I gotta do. I just gotta get my mind right and uh, to do it. That's all. Yeah, it's just easier said than done. Sometimes. I'm gonna have to probably go talk to a psychiatrist. Yeah, you know, listen, like every, I'm gonna have to do that. It's for, no doubt. for me, when when I started talking about a lot of the shit that I that that's I what did, bothers me. A lot of, a lot of the me. shit I did. You know what I mean? Yeah, that my life. I, mean, got, I got some skeletons in the closet. Yeah, if they get out, I'm in we trouble. We all do. You know what I mean? My life got ten times better when I started doing that shit. When I started talking about it's my. It's the thing. I got like I used to. And go I was to, always I, scared to. I used to go to communion every week. Yeah. You know, I was. You know, I grew uh, up in a Catholic yeah, family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got you. You know, and I had to do that, but yep. you know, I don't do that no more. And you're right. You feel better when you get it off your chest. Exactly. You don't walk around. It's not a burden no more. You know what I mean? It's lifted. So. Yep. One hundred percent, we do. Yep. Um, all right, well, I, I thank you for the interview, brother. And thank you I thank for giving me, let me do it. Me, and I, yep. I wish you nothing but the best. Thanks, Frank. Uh, moving forward. I'll keep you, I'll keep you in the... All right, all right Frank, thank you.